Welcome to the live stream concert, the Great Escape concert. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3 says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? The message is simple. You must be born again. Select her. Out of mercy. It's only found in Jesus Christ. Salvation. Salvation. Shan, shan, shan. Why, oh, why, oh. You must be born again. Check it. You must be born again. You must be born again. Tell it to your neighbor. Run, go tell your friend. You must be born again. You see, the world is like a sinking ship. It's looking like the Titanic. Everywhere is war and rumors of war. The people in my star panic. Got Bible prophecy fulfilling fast. And the revelation day has come to pass. Hey, don't try to escape it. Don't try to fake it. Today could be your very last. Hey, but hear what I say. The worst man who ever lived could have his sin washed away. If only you would listen to this. Hey, you must be born again. You must be born again. Tell it to your neighbor, run go tell your friend You must be born again, Lord You must be born again Come follow me, you must be born again Hey, tell it to your neighbor, run go tell your friend You must be born again You see the love of man is growing cold And yes for money people sell their soul Hey, it's children having children Children killing children and people in a stranglehold but everybody wants a brand new car And everybody wants to be a star Hey, in Africa they're crying In the year they're dying But still they're buying guns for war No, no, but hear what I say Your life is worth much more than gold Listen clearly Jesus wants to save your soul Hey, Come follow me, come follow me, come follow me. Me do the pan the rescue mission for all humanity. For the black, for the white, for the brown, and every nationality. Cause Jesus Christ is reaching out to everybody. Yo, come follow me, come follow me, no, come, come follow me. And give me the brand new life, the power and the energy. The love when put in my heart, you can't take it from me. Him lift me high above every demonic entity. Hear what I say. Your life is worth much more than gold. Listen clearly. Jesus wants to save your soul. You must be born again. You must be born again. Tell it to your neighbor. Run, go tell your friend. You must be born again. Lord, you must be born again. Come follow me. You must be born again. Hey. Tell it to your neighbor, run, go tell your friend, you must be born again. Watch me now, come follow me, come follow me, now come, come follow me. We do the pun, the rescue mission for all humanity. For the black, for the white, for the brown and every nationality. Cause Jesus Christ is reaching out to everybody. Only listen every word I say. Cause Jesus Christ is the only way. Hey, you know what I'm saying, don't you be delaying. You must be born again, hey. Out of mercy. So I'm from a, a very dysfunctional background. This is me, I don't know, I'm about 20 something years old. And uh, I was from a, a really broken family. I never ever saw love or affection or anything when I was a kid. And when I grew up, I drifted obviously into gangs because um, that's what happens. I got into drug dealing, but then I met a girl who I instantly fell in love with at first sight. I had kids with her. And I wanted to make a life for them, but I ended up drifting back into drug dealing. And I, I ended up getting into deeper things like credit card fraud and all kinds of wickedness. And it was too risky. I wanted to escape it. And around about this time, I began to start singing to, to kind of express myself. And my first escape was into the music business. And I met a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy. And basically, we formed a band. We played a gig at the Hippodrome. We did a video for the song. We started doing well. We started actually getting somewhere. Uh, record producers was paying attention to who we were. I had escaped drug dealing, and I was doing really well. 
And I was on my way up in the music business. I started to know certain people. I knew the man who remixed one of Madonna's tracks and I knew people who was doing stuff for Michael Jackson. And we were get, I was getting somewhere and then at this point, I was walking along the street in Peckham looking like that picture and I bumped into a girl called Margaret and God bless her, she told me the gospel. But this is how it went. This is a song that describes it all. Listen to the words of this song. It's called You Can Feel It Too. A little bit more money, yeah, that's it. Listen up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just give me a minute to explain to you. Just that one conversation changed my soul. I was minding my business on a sunny day in June. Stoned in the sunshine and trying to be cool. I bumped into a girl I knew, she said. Listen closely what I'm saying to you. I just gave my life to Jesus Christ. You need to do the same thing too. She said, you, you can feel it too. All you got to do is ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart. Well, I felt a funny feeling deep inside. It was the Holy Ghost trying to get in my life. For six months, I tried to hide. And finally, I swallowed my pride. Yes, I asked the Lord into my heart that day. Baptized in April, married in May. Me and my girl, we was on our way. Jesus was here to stay. I told my friends, I said, you gotta do is ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart don't you know I said you you can feel this too all you got to do is ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart to come in your heart show you another picture this is me and my wife we just we got saved early on in 1991 April 4th we got saved we became Christians we got married immediately we got baptized we just began to serve God we began to be Christians um, but here's the problem after I got saved I was a new convert and I was struggling because the world was still pulling on me I want to show you a quick um, video um, this is a video of a track, I, I don't know if we got the sound, but this is a track I did when I was a brand new convert. 
I was actually born again when this happened. I was born again. This was in the process before I got saved, but then after I got saved, this is happening. My song's blowing up. And basically, it was a contest between God and the devil, between Jesus and the world. And Jesus was calling me, and the world was calling me, and the world was offering me riches, fame. I did this video. It got to number something in the dance charts. It got to 17 in the Dutch national charts. It's, it's going, things are going well, but then I started to pray. And I read a quote from uh, Pastor Andrew Murray. And that quote was this. This is what I read. Friend, the only thing that can cure you of the desire of man's praise or the hurt feelings and anger that come when it is not given is by only seeking the glory that comes from God. Let the glory of God be everything to you. Then you'll be free from the glory of man and self and be content whilst glad to be nothing. And when that quote hit me, that was it. I was settled. I became a full-on disciple. I began to give myself fully, fully to the work of God. I began to just, 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 you know what, forget the world. People were coming around my house. They was offering me contracts. They were saying to me, listen, that song you did a couple of years ago, it's getting big in France. We need a follow-up. I was like, no, I'm not doing that stuff anymore. They were like, what's wrong with you? You know, I had a big argument with my record producer. He said to me, I just don't want to see you ending up singing on street corners. I said to him, that's exactly what I'm going to end up doing. I ended up going all over the world. Uh, I'll show you another picture of me when I'm very uh, young and skinny. That's me in the middle. That's Pastor Ronald Peterkin on the left-hand side of me. And that's Alvin on the right-hand side. We, we traveled. We began to sing. We began to do concerts. And basically, I believe that God used our lives to like spark something. In the lives of other young people. Then I got sent out in 2000. Took over a small pioneer work. And I became a pioneer pastor. And the church grew. And there's the church. And God just used my life. And basically Jesus is the only thing worth living for. This song is called Jesus is Alive. Listen to the words. Amen. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh my wife's going to help me sing. Redemption is our mission, got to stand on your convictions, cause there ain't no condemnation. Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus. Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus. Oh, Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus. Jesus is alive, and I made up my mind, I preach the gospel till I die. Sometimes I get the feeling that this world ain't on my side And the powers that be will gladly pay to see me die They try to shut me down and stop me testify But I made up my mind, I preach the gospel till I die Cause I'm from another nation, city in the sky And the joy of the Lord is what's keeping me alive And I feel it in my spirit, my redemption drawing nigh My Savior's returning, Jesus is alive Somebody say Jesus Jesus is alive, or somebody say Jesus Oh, Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus Jesus is alive, and I made up my mind, I preach the gospel till I die. Redemption is our mission, you got to stand on your conviction, cause there ain't no condemnation. Jesus is alive, God is my judge, and forgive my fall or rise. This ain't my world, and I will not compromise, cause for this truth, many people gave their lives. And I made up my mind, I preached the gospel till I die. Hey, cause I'm from another nation, city in the sky. And the joy of the Lord is what's keeping me alive. Jesus rose from the dead to give me brand new life. I got to tell the world about it. Jesus is alive. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus is alive. And somebody say Jesus. Oh, Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus Jesus is alive, and I made up my mind I preach the gospel till I die Say Jesus, Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus Oh, Jesus is alive, somebody say Jesus
Jesus is alive And I made up my mind I preach the gospel till I die Redemption is our mission You got to stand on your conviction Cause there ain't no condemnation In this generation Gonna be a worldwide revival Starting with you Don't you understand it Jesus is alive mm -mm. Yeah. This next song is called Hymnium Bass Now this song is very Jamaican And so we've got some subtitles coming up, right? So listen to the words Selector, this is about the fact that you have to make an escape from this world Because it's crumbling Hopefully you can understand the lyrics Well you will because the lyrics are up there Listen to the words. Selector. Ooh, ooh, Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, well, this is Jesus' world, and I want to run it. This is a thing, and I'm going to do it. I'm not care what the rest of them say. I am new boss. I'm God, I'm God. This is Jesus' world, and I want to run it. This is a thing, and I'm going to do it. Him no care what the rest of them say I am the boss On God on the world reject that word Everything I'm murky The light and green right and wrong get hazy Society, it has become ungodly And that immorality is now something groovy Scientists manufacture sympathetic baby Man marry man lady with lady Abortion clinic make murder easy You talk against that them tell you say that you hate it Hey! Them just a pretend, them a pretend the world is easy. But judgment soon come down upon them. Hey, a Jesus world and they want to run it. This a him thing and him a go do it. Him no care what the rest of them say. I am the boss. On God, on God, this is Jesus world and him soon a go run it. This a him thing and him soon a go do it. Him no care what a human say. I am the boss. On God, on the judgment of God is coming swiftly. Not the one shall escape. It's closer daily. Maybe if you ask for mercy, you can avoid what is coming surely. Sodom and Gomorrah never get so nasty. The whole wide world gonna one big party, flirty. Everybody is dirty and everybody mind coming like it perverted. Them just a pretend, them a pretend the world is easy, but judgment soon come down upon them. Why? 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 When this is Jesus' world and he wants to run it, this a theme thing and he might go do it. Him no care why the human say I am the boss I'm God I'm down Up in the heaven now I got this holy Him now go put up with much more of the nasty Dirty Ungodly perverted Immorality which is becoming trendy Earthquake and everything God will increase it Natural disaster shall be more frequent but the wicked they will not eat it Until the lake of fire only then they will see it This is Jesus world and the want to run it This a him thing and him a go do it Him no care what the rest of them say I am the boss On God on God this is Jesus world and him soon a go run it This a him thing and him a go do it Him no care what the rest of them say I am the boss On God on God Him no care what a human say, I am the boss. On God the good on, him no care when a human say, I am the boss. On God on on on. Out of mercy, for Jesus Christ, I'm thirsty. Yeah, man, that's how it is right now in 2020. We got a very shift, a very big shift in this concert right now because now we talked about my great escape, but now. I want to talk about yours, because you need to escape. You see, the Bible says that the world that we're living in is going to end. I mean, what we're seeing right now is what Jesus describes as the beginning of sorrows. And we are in a period of time now where it's time to make decisions. If you're backslidden, if you're not saved, it's time to make a decision. Are you going to serve Jesus, or are you going to stay in this world and just continue the way we're going? Because destruction's coming on this world. 
But this song's like a plea. I wrote this song with Pastor Chris Seeley. We were sitting in Ireland and we were looking out the window and we saw people with guns. Those days it was the, the troubles. And it was like, man, this world is messed up. We need to reach out to people. And we wrote this song. And this song's kind of, it was prophetic. It was written many years ago, but it applies to how, how the world is right now. So, amen. Listen to the word.
next song is called One Fine Day. This song's about death. This is the one thing that everyone's afraid of, is death. The Bible says that all our lifetime, human beings are held in bondage through their fear of death. But you see, when you have Jesus in your heart, death becomes not the end, but an entrance into a new kingdom. And you can have that confidence, you can have that assurance. Listen to the words. Amen. No, no, no. Jesus here today, yeah. You 
gotta choose Jesus here today because it's just too late on the other side. Amen. Do you feel me? Hopefully you can feel what I'm trying to say. And this next song is gonna it's gonna nail it even further. And this song was written after I was speaking to a man on the street, the man said to me, listen, I've been watching you sing. You're a really good singer. Why don't you go on X Factor? I'm like, and listen, man, I was on MTV, bro. I goes, that, that is not for me. He goes, why not? Why don't you go for it? What? You can sing. You're wasting your talent. And I said, look, I'm not wasting my talent. I'm trying to win souls. I'm trying to convince people about the reality of Jesus Christ. And then he said, but not everyone believes in your God. And by now he's getting angry. And then he said, I don't need God. And then I just kind of said, okay. And I walked away and I couldn't sleep. And I got up at three o'clock in the morning and I wrote this song. This song's called Judgment Day. Listen to the words. <laughs> and all around the human race the world accelerates towards a judgment day and right is wrong and truth lies falling in the street and as they dance the road to hell I hear them singing we don't need no God and we don't need no king and as they dance the road to hell I hear them singing we don't need salvation Cause everything, everything's in me As they dance the road to hell They say don't bother me I don't believe that there will ever be a day Called Judgment Day And all around the human race, the whole wide world is crashing down towards judgment day. It's nation against nation, pestilence and more wars every day. Yet we still insist that everything's okay. And we don't need no God. We don't need no king. And as they dance the road to hell, I hear them singing. We don't need salvation, especially not Christianity. As they dance the road to hell, they say, don't bother me. I don't believe that there will ever be a day called Judgment Day. This is your great escape, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And so finally, the human race is standing before God, the living God. It's judgment day. Every single human, no, nobody, no one got away. Because every word and action will be judged today. And now we all need God, now we need His grace. Cause now we're standing before Jesus face to face. And now we need salvation, but time is up to be born again. Cause when you turned away from God, you sealed your fate. And to be a Christian now is just too late. It's judgment day. No, no, people. It's judgment day. Ooh. It's time for the great, the great escape. We're trying to really warn you. Don't you understand? We're trying to show you. Ooh. Judgment day.
if that don't get you, this one will. Listen, the Bible describes what's going to happen to us when we stand before God. The day we die, the Bible describes the events that I'm about to sing about. Now listen, I want you to pay attention to these lyrics because this is what's going to happen to you if you don't accept Christ. And if you think I'm trying to scare you, I am because it's very scary. But the good news is, is you, this doesn't have to be you. Listen to the words of this song. This song's called Five More Minutes. I just need five more minutes, just five more minutes of life and I will pray. Don't leave me this way. Judgment day has come, man. Now the mystery's begun. Gonna stand before the Holy One. There's nowhere left to run. Now you suddenly recall each time you heard Jesus call and how you just ignored it all. But now your back's against the wall. So afraid, you're so, so, so alone. You can't buy your way out of this one with a ton of precious gold. All the things you bought and sold, none of them can ever pay for your soul. I just need five more minutes, just five more minutes of life. And I will pray Don't leave me this way You realize you're no longer alone You turn around the king of kings Seated on his throne He beckons you to bow down low You begin to beg for your soul Jesus looks you directly in your eyes And tears begin to fill his own eyes Oh now, this takes you so by surprise You have never ever seen such eyes And with a voice like you never heard before He says, oh my child, today you broke my heart Cause now forever we must part me to the light, you to the dark I just need five more minutes Just five more minutes of life And I will pray Don't leave me this way You hear a screaming sound You realize it's you that's screaming Demons take you down There's only one place that you're going now Into a lake of fire You must drown And somehow you know this is all your fault You pushed away Jesus Every time you heard him call Now you must pay for your soul Jesus tried to pay But you told him no just need five more minutes, no, five more minutes of life and I will pray. Don't leave me this way. Wish I took the great escape. Five more minutes, just five more minutes of life and I will pray. Man, I feel the reality of that song. I just want to talk to you just for a few minutes. Just pay attention because what I'm talking about is escaping that. I'm talking about you escaping that situation. You see, there's so many people that in this world, they think it's never going to happen to me. But it will. It happens to billions of people. They find themselves standing before a real holy God, just like the Bible said. They find themselves having their life reviewed before God, just like the Bible says. And then they find themselves falling into a lake of fire. 
Just like the Bible says. The Bible, the most popular book in the entire world. Every nation, every country, every language. And yet people don't read it. They don't know what's in there. They don't understand the warnings that are in there. My appeal to you tonight is that you would listen to what I'm saying. I know it's a gospel concert. I know it's music. I know it's beautiful. I know it's great. But you know what? It's a serious issue here, man. As human beings, we are unholy. We are sinful. We're in sin. We're in lies. We're in, everyone's lied. Everyone's stolen. Everyone's, we've all done wrong before God. There's not one of us that's holy, the Bible says. Not one. And yet God in his mercy decided to rescue us. He decided to hatch the great escape by sending his son Jesus to come on this earth and pay for our sin. And we ignore that and we say, well, you know, Jesus was a good man. Easter, yeah, it's great. No, it's much more than that. Jesus is your saviour if you want him to be. Jesus is the only one who can perform for you the great escape. The escape from hell that's waiting for every man, woman and child that denies Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son so that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is yours you can be a part of the great escape. I want to pray with you. If you're, if you're watching this and you feel like, man, you know what, you're right, then I want you to pray with me right now and receive Jesus into your heart and allow him to be your savior. Just say these words right now out loud with me. Just bow your head right now before God because he's where you are. He's in your room. He's wherever you are and he's listening to these words. And you're saying this to him. Say this to him. Say, Lord Jesus, you say it, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sins. I'm asking you now to forgive me and come into my heart and be my saviour. I thank you for dying on the cross in my place so that I could have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you said that prayer and you meant it, it's really simple. You're now born again. You're now saved. You're now washed in the blood. And we need to celebrate. And we need to sing that song, You Must Be Born Again. My selector, yeah. If you got saved, that's the, there's angels in heaven. Listen, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it, Jesus Christ is rejoicing. The angels are rejoicing. They're having a party in heaven. And we're going to have a party right now. Listen. On a mercy. It's only found in Jesus Christ Salvation Yeah Salvation The great escape Listen You must be born again Watch me You must be born again You must be born again Tell it to your neighbor Run go tell your friend You must be born again You see the world like a sinking ship It's looking like the Titanic Everywhere is war And rumors of war The people in my start panic The Bible prophecy fulfilling fast And a revelation day has come to pass Hey, don't try to escape it Don't try to fake it Today can be your very last Hey, but hear what I say The worst man who ever lived Could have a sin washed away
Listen clearly. Jesus wants to save your soul. Hey. Come follow me, come follow me, come follow me. We do the pan of rescue mission for all humanity. For the black, for the white, for the brown, and every nationality. Cause Jesus Christ is reaching out to everybody. Yo, come follow me, come follow me, no come, come follow me. Him give me the brand new life, the power and the energy. The love when put in my heart, you can't take it from me. Him lift me high above every demonic entity. Hear what I say. Your life is worth much more than gold. Listen clearly. Jesus wants to save your soul. You must be born again, Lord. You must be born again. Tell it to your neighbor. Run, go tell your friend. You must be born again. Hey, you must be born again. Come follow me. You must be born again. Hey. Tell it to your neighbor, run go tell your friend, you must be born again. Watch me now, come follow me, come follow me, no, come, come follow me. For the upon the rescue mission for all humanity. For the black, for the white, for the brown and every nationality. God, Jesus Christ is reaching out to everybody. Only listen every word I say. God, Jesus Christ is the only way. Hey, you know what I'm saying, don't you be delaying. You must be born again. But I'm mercy. And so if you if you became a Christian, if you ask Jesus in your heart, there's a there's a number on the screen. We want you to text the word saved plus your name to that number. And one of us is going to get in touch with you. We're not going to harass you. We just want to make sure you're okay. We want to just invite you to our church when it opens again. Right now we're in an empty building in front of a camera, but one day, glory to God, this church is going to open again. The potter's house. Wolf and Forest, and you're invited. And it doesn't matter what you've done, where you are in life, it doesn't matter how bad things have got, Jesus Christ can sort it out. Listen, if he's sorted my life out, he can sort anyone's life out. Jesus loves you. We want to thank you for listening to this, and we want to just give glory to God for those who gave their lives to Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen.